bugs and forest fires. Two things that obviously go together, right? Let's talk about how some bugs utilize forest fires and can thus themselves be utilized in <laughs> and can be used themselves in detecting forest fires. I'm gonna keep that in there. So this is the Buprested beetle. There's actually a bunch of types of these, but they are most commonly known as the jewel beetles. And yeah, you can see why. This is a specimen under the that I want to just look at under the microscope in my entomology lab. So I thought it would be really cool. It really was. So the Buprested beetles is a pretty large group of beetles, which includes the jewel beetles. They can be found in lots of places, but specifically forests. So these jewel beetles, in addition to looking really, really neat, have a very interesting relationship with forest fires. So they have what are called metathoracic infrared organs, which are basically organs on the metathorax which sense infrared radiation. So fire emits light on different areas of the wave spectrum. Obviously it emits visible light because we can see it emitting light and it glows and all that, but it also emits infrared light. And we can't sense that ourselves with our eyes, but certain organisms can. And certain organisms that sense it have different uses for it. Specifically, these jewel beetles use it to find out where forest fires are and they want forest fires. They want to go find them. Specifically, they want to find mostly already past forest fires that have kind of swept through an area and has left a bunch of damaged and burned trees. They do this because they want to lay their eggs in these trees, and they can only really lay eggs in the trees of, that have already been kind of burned and damaged. This has a couple different functions, one of those being much reduced competition, because after a fire has swept through an area, not many things survive, so they basically have first pick of recolonizing an area with life because they can lay their eggs there before a bunch of other insects and stuff get there, so they are basically getting first pick of a brand new area that does not have a, a lot of life going on in it already. There is, at least for that first little bit, essentially no competition for either egg-laying spots with other insects or just a bunch of stuff, resources. There's not a lot of competition there, so these bugs are like, sweet, let's get on that. Now this also helps to just overall help the larva survive, because these burnt and smolder smoldering trees they're not doing great, they're either dead or dying, and they don't have the same defenses that healthy trees have. Since lots of beetles, including the jewel beetles, are wood boring beetles, trees are not a big fan of that. They really don't want to be burrowed into, so by choosing to lay their eggs on already dead or dying trees, it just helps the larva not have to deal with tree defenses and gives them a bit of a better chance at surviving into adulthood where rinse and repeat. Now, this is all very interesting, but it also has a very cool practical use. Since these bugs have these special organs, they are very, very good at finding forest fires where they then go lay their eggs, circle of life, beautiful. And in lots of places, one of the biggest problems with forest fires is early detection. Lots of times, like not all the time obviously, but m in many cases, it is very hard to spot a forest fire before it becomes a problem. So early detection is absolutely essential for avoiding these nasty forest fires that are out of control. And so, a very easy and elegant solution is just to use beetles. If they're going to the forest fires anyway, track these beetles or intentionally release these beetles 
as long as they're not invasive, but follow the beetles to where they're going, and where they're going is most of the time is forest fires, and they may help in finding fires that officials didn't even know were burning. Because of these IR sensory organs and their natural go find forest fire instinct, they are really, really good at finding forest fires. And a lot of these fires might be smaller ones or ones that are just way out in rural areas in the middle of buttfuck nowhere that nobody knows about. And they could find them and they could help people find them and detect them before they become a big enough problem that it gets noticed other ways and by then it's a lot harder to deal with. So this is just yet another example of one, why bugs are really fucking cool, and two, why they're very important. Because just like this little shiny beetle can be used to save lives, save the ecosystem, save money by early detection of forest fires, and I think that's just absolutely neat.